Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to make custom mobs. In this case, we'll be making a custom cow. There's our custom cow right there. Now we'll be doing this over in Planet Minecraft, which has a great editor for doing this kind of mob editing. So let's switch over to Planet Minecraft and I'll show you how this is done. Okay, here we are in Planet Minecraft and here's the cow skin that I made. Really easy to do this and this works for any kind of mob. If you want to have this one, you can actually download this. I'll show you about how to download once we take a look at how to make a skin. Now for that, go up here where it says Minecraft and come over here to PMC Skin 3D. It's Planet Minecraft Skin 3D. Click on that. Click on the Advanced Editor. And this takes you into the editor right here. There's the cow. Now if you use the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can scroll in and out like that, easy to do. If you're outside, get this little hand. You can then rotate the image around using that hand. So pretty easy. We'll be using this skin as our base, but if you want to change the model, go up here to File, come down to New Skin, choose the model that you want. There's Cow right there. And if you want to have the original texture, choose Use Default Texture. That will then give you that one. And there are all the different mobs in here pretty much. The newest mobs may not be here quite yet, but they'll be here pretty soon. So if I do the Cow, choose Create, there's the basic Cow texture. You also can load a texture that you have on your computer. Go up to File, Open File, and I have my cow texture is right down in here. There we go, and open. Set the model at the right model. So here's the cow model and my new skin. Choose Open, and there we go. You can show or hide different parts of your mob. This makes it really easy to edit. It's over here, left-hand side. I'll just hide everything. There's showing everything. I can hide the head. I can hide the legs. And that's just the body. And then bring our legs in. And let's hide the body. There we go. Now on a lot of mobs, this one included, if you paint one leg, it paints all four. They all match. You can do just the head if you want to. Let's just hide the legs. And there's just the head. Again, scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out. And then to paint, it's real simple. Let's just go over here to the body. And I'll hide everything else. And then scroll wheel out. To paint, all you have to do is use the paintbrush right here. There are two drawing modes. The first one is a varying intensity, really easy to use. And on this one, I'm going to change my colors up here. Let's do something kind of fun, kind of a sienna color in here. That's our foreground color. And then click on the background, reverse those, and I'll do something else kind of similar, but just darker. And get a lighter one for our foreground. That's kind of nice. I like that. And then the two drawing modes I normally use are just these two. First one, we'll paint in pixels with random coloration like that because it's pretty easy to do you just paint over it you can fill but i prefer just painting it you have a lot more control and then just go over the whole part of the cow you want to paint in i'll just leave those black areas as they are pretty much to you change your side click out here you can then rotate this around and it gives you a nice variation and i go through and i would paint all the different sides this way and get everything done then go back and i'll do the head and do the legs exact same technique same trick, and then get everything painted. There we go. For underneath, just go like that, and then do the bottom side. If I want to do the head, I'll go over here where it says visible parts. Let's change this. I'll hide the body. Let's show the head. Same exact thing. I'll just come in here, I'll just scroll wheel, and then just paint this in. Now, this gives you just a random variation on that, and it's pretty good. It's not a bad look, but I like having a bit more of a sense of the shape to it. So what I do, after I paint in a whole side like this, just do the whole random bit. And I'll show you over on the body. Let's just do that much. There we go. Let's go back to the body and let's hide the head and the legs. What I like doing is to come back and take kind of a mid-tone color or my light color, switch over here to the pencil tool, and then just come in and fill in kind of random areas, but in the main section so that a lot of the coloration is just that one color. The same thing up here, I just kind of zigzag through this like that. And I think that looks a lot nicer. The same thing over here with the whites, where I just came back and I painted in as a second pass, the white areas, the large areas, making it a real nice, pleasing look to that. So that's how I approach doing this. Now for the dark areas, I just changed my colors to dark colors, so I'll just reverse those colors. Go back here to the noise mode, put in the dark color areas like this. And on the darks, I didn't go back in and do a 
solid fill color area. I just left them just basically dark, kind of like that. And then once you're done and you're happy with this, you can then go ahead and output this. So the painting part's super easy, as you can see. You can get more complex if you want to, but you don't have to in here. You can stay pretty simple on this. I'll be showing other videos later on how to get really complex. But we'll stick on simple with this one. So that's how you paint in here. Let's bring our parts all back in again. Kind of a strange looking cow. Bit of a mix. So you want to save. Go up here where it says file and come down to save to file. You can then just save this right to your working folder. I have a folder on my C drive. I just called it bedrock packs. And I'll stick it right here and choose save. You also can save in a different way. In this corner here, it says publish to PMC. Click on this one. Click on leave right there. It takes us into the publish section. Give it a name. I'll call it brown or white cow. And category, I'll call it faithful. I'll go back in and I'll finish this up later on. Put in a description, whatever you want to say, write down in through here. Down below, if somebody else helped you, you can give them credit right there. Let's give it a tag. I'll do cow, that's fine. Let's give it another tag in here. See what else we have. Cow mob skin, that's good. Allow comments and publish live. There we go, so here's our new skin up there on Planet Minecraft. And then down here, you can download just the mob skin right there. We already did that. It's the same thing, click on that, and there's the download mob skin. A little different name as you can see up here. Or you can download the Minecraft mob skin pack. Now this works for Java, it doesn't work for Bedrock. I'll click on this one. So they say Java or Bedrock here. There's Java, over here's Bedrock, but it doesn't work. This is actually giving you a Java pack, so it's no good for us. It only goes up here to 117. It's just fine in Java, it doesn't work in Bedrock, but that's okay, we can fix that easily enough. So we already have ours download. We downloaded the skin and that's all we need. Let's now switch over and I'll show you how to make the resource pack to load this skin in. And we'll use this kind of a strange guy, that's fine. And I'll go over to the working folder. That's right here. So in here I have the new skin. Now this needs to be named cow.png. I'll just get rid of that beginning stuff. Just click into the name here and just back over that. There is the new cow skin. I'll be using a custom hack icon. I made this based on a custom totem that I did. You don't have to use a custom one. You can use a standard grass block. I'll show you where that is. But it's fun to have a custom. It's just a 128 by 128 image. That's all it is, just a PNG, square PNG. Okay, now we need to get the location to put this into. And for that, we have to get the vanilla resource pack. Let me bring that up on a web page. And this right here, I'll put this link in the description so you can go right to this page. You need to download the pack. Ignore everything that says preview and pre-release. Ignore all of those. We want to have the one that says latest, and that's right here. Right now we're in 120.80.5. If you click on this, this takes you over to a page that shows you all about the resource pack. If you want to find out what else is in this, that's all right here. Back out of this one, it's all the new stuff in there. What we want though is the source code right down here. You want the zip source code. Click on this, and then download this into your working folder. See, I'm still in that Bedrock Packs folder. Choose Save, and that's downloaded, so that's good. Let's now go back to our working folder right here. Now first, notice that I see the extension here, .png, .png, .zip. You need to see that extension. I'm in Windows 11, so I'll go over here to View, come down to Show, and Find them Extensions. Make sure you see that. If you're in Windows 10, it's up on the View tab at the top of the screen. Let's right click, and I'm going to open in a new window. There we go. We're inside the zip file. Go inside this folder. Go inside the Resource Pack folder. In here, go inside of Textures, and here, go inside of Entity, and here, come down here to Cow and go inside of Cow. This is where our new Cow skin has to go. It's in that folder section. So there's our folders. We need Textures, Entity, and Cow inside of here. So let's make a new folder. First one is Textures. Notice that these are all lowercase. Inside of Textures, New Folder. This one is Entity. So inside of that, and New Folder. This one is Cow. Okay, back over here again. Now instead of entity, notice that a lot of these have their own folders, but some of the older ones down here don't. Well, even Armadillo, if that's brand new, doesn't have its own folder. So some of these are without a folder and some of them have a folder. Basically, if it's a folder, that means that there are more than one styles or looks inside of there. In the cow, there are three different looks on the cow, depending upon where in the game you're at. Go back to the resource pack folder right here. We also need this manifest JSON file. Let me back up here to this spot here where you see the textures folder. Then just take this and drag it over. We're in a zip file, so you can do that. There's our manifest JSON. We need that one. 
And if you don't want to use your own custom pack icon, the default one is right here. That's just that grass block one. If you want to use that one, just drag that over and you're all set. Okay, that's everything that we need in here. And believe it or not, the pack is almost done. All we have to do is just to edit what's inside the manifest.json. Now I edit these inside of Notepad++. It's a free download and it's a perfect code editor for this kind of project. So I'll double click on this. And here we go. Let's change what the name says up here. I'll call this brown and black cow. Of course, it's description. Let's just select that. Just the words, not the quotation marks. Right click and copy. Okay, it's right click here and paste. And same thing right down here. Where it says example, right click and paste. There we go. And we also have these two UUID codes, one up here and one down here. We need to change both of those. These are kind of like license plates on a car. Every car has different license plates. Every resource pack has different UUID codes. Now to get these, also free, let me bring up that web page. And it's right here, the online UUID generator. Just click on refresh, click on copy. Let's bring back up the Notepad++ file. And I'll select that top one, right click and paste. There we go, let's go back over here. Refresh again, get a new code, copy. And then back in here again, let's just select the bottom one, right click and paste. That's done, choose save. We can close this down now and we can go back over to our resource pack working folder. We now need our new skin over here, our new cow skin inside of our folders. I'm gonna right click and let's just copy that. I'm gonna go in the folders and then right click and paste right here. That's good, let's go back out again. And we're now ready to compile the resource pack. Click on your textures, hold the control key down, get that manifest and that pack icon. Right click and let's compress the zip file. I'm just using just the standard zip. This is going to be our brown and black cows. While you're here, back over the dot zip and make it say MC pack. Click outside, click yes. There it is. Now it has to be a zip file for this to work. If you don't see that dot zip, if you see dot RAR, it's not going to work. If you see dot 7z, it's not going to work. It has to be zip. So just use Windows zip for this. Now that we have this going, we can load this into the game. Double click, this is going to import this into the game. And it's loading up Minecraft right now. There you go, import started. And successful import, we're all set. Let's come down here to settings and scroll down. Come down to global resources and my packs. Here's our brown and black cow. Click on that, click activate. That's activated, it's check and active. There it is, we're all set. I'll get us back out of here. Let this load in the resource pack. Over to play, here's my main world. We'll launch this, and there you go. There's our strange looking brown and brown and black and white cows. I'll go back and I'll finish that skin so they're all that nice brown color. That's kind of interesting, kind of a strange mutant cow happening in here. But there you go, that's how you can edit your entity skins. Easy to do, and using Planet Minecraft makes it a real super cinch. And if you like this video, hit that like button, Make sure you subscribe. I do new videos all the time. Hit that bell icon on the subscribe button so that you get notifications of my new videos when they go up. And I'll see you next time.